today we will see passing by value in a function and its side effects in C++. So when we do a pass by value in functions in C++, so we will analyze here what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages. Okay. So one thing of course is there that if you have a class object so let's see if we have a function that have a passes we pass objects of two classes let's say class 1 its name is c1 and its object is o1 and c2 object 2 okay so if we pass like this then we know that okay in function there is the whole of this object is copied onto the stack using the copy constructor of the object okay so we copy the object that is passed as argument using copy constructor so what happens is this is a costly affair because everything is copied onto the stack of the function okay so this is one thing and let's see what happens other thing so we will take one example so we have a class employee we have the employee constructor and its virtual destructor so that other classes can derive from it and it has two attributes the string class name and address okay then we have class manager and it derives from employee okay so manager is a subclass of employee and it adds some additional attributes like which department he manages and what are his interests okay so these two are again standard string so now and we have a function is managing well so we have a function for the manager that i want to know is he managing well so what do we need to pass manager class object so i pass manager m so now we will see and analyze is it good method good idea to pass object of class and what are the cost that is involved so let's say i make a uh, object manager good one okay so he's a good manager now i want to find how is it doing so bool how is managing well i pass the object good one okay so this is the manager a good one so let's see what we get in return so most probably we will get a good one but the thing is let's see what happens now when i pass the object good one which is of type manager it needs a copy constructor will be called okay so it will be copied onto the stack using the copy constructor so now there will be a series of calls for constructor a copy constructor is called for the manager class constructor of manager will be called so the for the class manager the constructor is called and because it is deriving from employee class so that will also be called constructor of the employee class besides the constructor of manager class will be called and we have in manager we have two strings the department and the interests and in employee also we have two strings the so the two strings are the name and the address in the employee class okay so there are four strings there and the constructor when we are copying these so the copy constructors of these strings are also called so in turn six constructors are called and of course what will happen when this is managing well is returning so correspondingly six destructors will be called so that is quite costly affair we are calling so many constructors if it is deriving then the base class constructor is also getting called 
so what's the way out do we need it to be so much costly and besides that you are putting so many things on the stack also the stack for the function that is a constraint place you don't have much memory here and i don't want to copy so many things on the stack that will make it very resource less resources will be there for us on the stack than for the function so can anything be done so the two problems that we see are one is the call of lot of constructors and destructors so let's see what are the problems calling of so first problem is calling of constructors and destructors okay so these are called and next what is the problem lot of space okay isn't it lot of space will be taken on the stack for the function so this is also a problem i don't want to a class can be a huge class and so many things i have to copy i will have no place left on my stack so is there any way out for this can the call to constructors and destructors be eliminated or bypassed and can we bypass the copying and so the can we save the memory resource in the stack of the function yes good answer is we have a solution and that is pass by reference to const okay so if we pass by reference to the const so that way what will happen is we will have no copying and hence no calling of constructors and these constructors and also no copying on the stack so this is a very useful thing you should always remember passing class objects as const references so i will pass it as const manager ampersand m so i am passing reference to the object and it is a const reference okay so it's a const reference and let's see so the benefits i'm getting no constructors and destructors are called very good okay because if it is derived and level of hierarchy is 2 then so many constructors and destructors of base class are called so if let's say this is the base this is derived 1 and here it is derived 2 so copying will be happening what copy constructor of d2 in turn it will call cop the constructor of d1 d1 will call the constructor of base class b so so many things are there so to bypass it or eliminate it i will do what i will pass the reference to it and it is a const reference so even if you do a reference pass by reference that will work fine but why are we using the word const someone can ask so the thing is if i pass by reference so it is almost like so passing by pointer okay and then someone can change that object itself so to not allow that thing what we have to do we have to write it as a const reference so that it cannot be changed inside the function but then also we are not copying it hence we are saving space on stack and also we are not calling any constructors and destructors okay now let's see and one more problem with pass by value when a derived class object is passed by value and if in the function the argument is of base class object then the base class only the base class copy constructor will be called and the derived class features are sliced off so it will not be taken into account and it will just copy the base class features and the derived class features will not be taken so for example in the employee class if we add virtual void display and i'm saying that okay very trivial example but see out employee i'll write the name of the class class manager public employee now i do virtual void display but here i do see out manager and i have a function void display class name and i'm putting the argument as employee so base class object i'm passing to it and it is just calling the e dot display so i will get the okay so this standard see out is not needed here so e dot display if i do so it will print for me employee and if it is uh, so if the 
object is of manager type it will call manager okay but let's see if i call it with manager m i call the function display class name m we will see we will get employee so why is this so because the constructor of only the employee class is called hence the virtual function will have call be called will be that of the base class and not of the derived class and hence we see a employee here so these are the problems with calling passing by value in c++ first thing is of course lot of memory is required lot of constructors and deconstructors are called and there is slicing problem and hence it is better to have a pass by reference and it should be a const reference so that it cannot be changed so i hope you understand the problem and its solution and you like this video if you like this video please